Ryan, was that the most complete game you guys have played this year? Um, I'd like to think so. We, you know, we we had a couple of trouble, you know, some trouble with that in the past couple of games, and uh, something that we would uh, that we were working on um, all week. And uh, to come out, especially in the third quarter and the start of the third quarter, and get those goals early, uh, you know, we really felt pretty good. And our defense did a great job of locking down, um, you know, their offensive players. And you know, holding them to I think it was five goals is a, you know, great accomplishment for a, a dangerous team like Army. So I, I'm, I'm proud of the way that our guys played and happy with the result. AJ, can you talk about the way your defense was able to get the ball on the ground and then pick the ball up? I mean, you had a ton of ground balls today, and a lot of it was from your defenders. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was just, you know, we uh, definitely came in knowing that Army uh, was on a roll. You know, they came in winning, I don't know, 8 9 straight. Um, they were definitely a dangerous team, and, you know, we knew all throughout uh, the week of practice that we'd have to, uh, you know, compete the way that we can, um, show the heart that we know we have in us. And you know, I think we just, uh, we definitely showed that today. You know, we wanted it more. For Ryan and Rob, they're a team that tends to be patient and, and take their time and whatnot. How crucial was it to jump out to that big lead and be able to have as much possession as you guys did, especially in the first half? Uh, I think the last couple of games we've gotten out to that good start, you know, particularly offensively, and we've been able to possess the ball on the offensive end in the first half, giving our defense a break. And, you know, when it got that second half, the, it seemed like the other team started to have the ball more offensively and put more pressure on our defense. But today, we were able to kind of, you know, possess the ball offensively in the first and second half, give our defenses a break, and, and we were able to keep scoring goals and play a more complete game. And I think, you know, Army does like to play that style of game as well. And I think today when we got out to the early lead, they didn't really have a choice but to kind of play catch up. And, uh, you know, ended up working to our advantage, maybe them taking some shots or some chances that they necessarily don't want to take. And uh, you know we were able to sustain that lead and increase on it throughout the whole game, which was, uh, which was great. Uh, so, so Steve, you're, you're, how, how far do you live from here? Uh, I'd say about a half hour away. Half hour, okay. So this is your first NCAA experience, you're half hour away, and, and you had three goals today. So could you kind of sum up how it went for you? I mean, uh, couldn't really uh, script it any better uh, than that. Uh, I got a bunch of, bunch of friends, a bunch of family in the crowd today. And uh, you know, it's like a dream come true kind of I couldn't I couldn't uh, picture it any better than this. Going to the final four, winning in the quarterfinals down Long Island in front of uh, a home crowd I'd say, but yeah, definitely it's a good feeling. Ryan, how, how does a team that starts a freshman in goal, two freshmen at close, uh, play the way it did today? Um, you know, our team has you know, we've had a bunch of experiences throughout this whole year. a um, bunch of close games, some wins, some losses. Um, you know, some bad losses, and, uh, you know, we just kind of, through this past, you know, after the Ivy League tournament, we start to you know, look back on those experiences that we've had and look at the things that we've learned in, in each case, and, um, you know, our team has really grown up pretty quickly as this year has rolled on. You can look back to our Syracuse game, and after that, um, everybody really started to grow up a lot, um, and then, you know, you come into this game playing a team like Army that knocks out the number two team in the tournament, and, um, you know, you don't really see any freshmen out there. They're just, you know, experienced players on our team. They can look back at, at overtime games that we played before and, uh, you know, Ivy League tournament games, our previous playoff game. And um, everybody just played with, you know, the heart of a veteran. And uh, our guys just played great. And you can kind of see that when, you know, different today from other games that we had was that, uh, you know, when, when Army would score back, you know, get a couple, one goal or two, it make me look like they were going to start getting some momentum. Our offense possessed the ball and got a great shot, and we uh, we didn't let them get on a roll. We we uh, kind of finished that momentum pretty early and got it back going our way. So you can you can look at that as the experience of, of our team growing up. For Ryan and Rob, uh, Coach mentioned this earlier about replacing the 16 seniors that graduated last year. Can you talk about feeling that offensive burden on your shoulders as well as maybe answering people who doubted whether you guys would have the talent to reload? I think definitely, you know, personally, was, uh, you going to last year's games and, you know, going to a big game like this, you knew that you'd have Ryan Hurley above you and, and Max Seaball and John Glenn and Rock Romero, Chris Finn, guys like that who had been there before and you could count on. And, uh, you know, I could kind of just you know, do my thing and, and go about my business, not having to worry that if, if I didn't necessarily play my best, I had other guys to step up and uh, you know, who were fully capable of 
uh, generating offense and, uh, in the offensive end. And, you know, this year has just been a lot different as far as I, I'm one of those guys now, along with Ryan, and we, you know, the veterans in the offensive end you know, from last year. So it's just been, I guess, more, uh, more kind of more pressure going to each game. But I think we've, we've been able to handle it throughout the season and just becoming more used to handling it, you know, coming towards the end of the season now and, you know, peaking at the right time as a, as a team and you know, as an offense. Today was a, a step in the right direction as far as, you know, playing full 60 minutes offensively and not uh, just kind of giving you know, kind of just playing passive in the second half like we have the past couple games and uh, just step in the right direction going forth to uh, this week of practice and next weekend. Brian, I mean, you're obviously a goal scorer and no big secret time, but could you, could you just explain today how we were able to get so wide open on the crease? Uh, early in the game, uh, a couple of those passes, I wasn't even sure that they were going to be coming my way. It looked a, a little tighter than I, than I thought, but uh, just to try to make the play on the ball whenever I could. And, um, you know, over my career, I've just tried to make the best of the chances that I get. And, um, and you know, guys like Robbie that can feed me and kind of look through a defense and kind of break it down. And uh, having Steve and Mock, you know, step up and start to score a lot more goals really kind of takes a little bit more of the pressure off Robbie and me. And um, whenever I get those chances, just try to follow the scouting report Coach Steve puts out and shoot the ball and uh, open spot. Rob, from the outside, there were no expectations on Cornell to get back to the Final Four this year. But now that you've done it, what should the expectations be now? I think right now we're just going to focus on the next game. But you know, coming into this game, you know, Coach talks about us being a team without coming into the season, and you know, right now we're just becoming you know family, and you know, at, right at the right time. And you know, I think we we knew we could be back there. You know, I know our captain certainly had set the goal of going back to the Final Four, so they had certainly believed in the the team around them and. And, you know, thinking that we could get back there. And, uh, you know, I think that just right now we have to focus on another game fighting Irish for next week. And, you know, I think we've got to take it one game at a time and have a good week of practice. But, you know, I think right now, you know, for this team coming together at the right time, you know, sky's the limit. And, uh, you know, like I said, one game at a time.